AutoCAD Drafting Part 1 Chapter 7 Section 7.13 Construction Line and Ray Exercise 36 Ok, this is the exercise file. I have the portion of the architectural plan here and this is the elevation of this. So really this elevation is the elevation of this wall. Here if you see on the left hand side we have W1 and DO, DO and W1. So that's what we can see here window, door, door, window. And for a better understanding, this is actually the portion of this building. So this is a rest house I proposed to one of my client a couple of years back. So I used Google SketchUp to develop this 3D. So this is a rest house and here we have a swimming pool. So under the swimming pool we have some arrangements. So this part is actually the under part of the swimming pool not from this one so not this elevation even if you check this one see here we have under the swimming pool labor room and swimming pool mechanical room and uh, for this room there's a attached bathroom and from the outside there's a common bathroom and a garden store and so on and if you check this rear backside elevation and here this door is uh, this one and here we have a fan light so this is that fan light and then uh, for this attached bathroom, there's another fan light that is this one. And this is the excess for this uh, garden store. Okay. But the elevation I have given is in the opposite side, the other side. So I'll check the other side. Yes, this one. And here we have window, door, door, window. So that's what we can see here. And that is the elevation. Okay, so in order to develop the elevation or sectional elevation from the plan, we use the projection line. Here in AutoCAD, we call construction line and rays. So we'll learn the tool first. The construction line and the rays are in draw panel. So I'll expand and here you can find construction line and this is ray. So I'll select the construction line first. Then if I read, it says X line is selected, specify. A point so I'll pick a point once you pick a point then if you move your mouse you can find you are getting the projected line in both direction then it's asking specify a through point see I want to send that line through this corner for example okay so I'll get a line in finite distance a line to infinite distance so I'll erase it so again the keyboard command for this is XL enter XL enter and I'll pick the point and the second point say I can pick any number of points but we don't do this job so I'll erase it and also there are some options see for example if I say XL enter I can create only the horizontal line only the vertical lines or only at an angle if you check in the sub option horizontal vertical angle HVA so I can type H enter for horizontal lines, then I can produce horizontal lines. I'll hit escape to exit from the command and again XL enter, V enter for vertical lines. If I need at an angle, XL enter, A enter for angle, then I have to enter the value of angle. So that is 45 for example, enter, then I'll pick the points through point so that is at an angle right so I'll erase all these things so that's about the construction line and if you check the ray that also similar to construction line it says specify the start point but ray produce the line or projection line only in one direction that's a different right so when you are producing this uh, elevational view from the plan so what we do is we project the distances for example excel enter v enter and i'll pick this corner and i'll pick this corner so that will represent the width of the building and further if i want to mark this column and i can mark these two so that will say where the column is aligned right then i can say excel enter h enter horizontal line and I'll draw a line and then this says the top of the building 
is 12 distance from the bottom. I don't say meter, millimeter or feet and inches, nothing. We'll come back, come to the units a little later. We'll say 12 distance. Right. So again, I can say Excel enter. And if you check in the sub option, I have something called offset. So I'll select this offset option. So then it says specify the offset distance. I'll say 12 enter. Then select a line or object. I'll select the same line. Then it's asking which side you need the offset, top or bottom. So I'll keep my mouse somewhere here and I'll click. So I'll get the offset there at 12 distance. Right. Anyhow, I'm not going to seriously develop the elevational view. Anyhow, regarding preparing the drawings, we'll go through in detail at the time of drafting. That is the second part of our course. Okay. That's about the construction line and ray. I reinforce again and again. Practice is very, very important. Practice again and again. If you have any problem, write me in Q&A section.